Here we go. Hello, everybody. This is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. Welcome. I am so happy you're here with me today. Make sure you chime in and let me know where you're visiting me from. All of those things. Okay, before we get started today, we always go over a few housekeeping items. We are going to be making a stamped window card today. I have a few examples for you. You're going to love all of them. Um, and this is my creative inspiration calendar that I mail out every single month. If you want to get this for free in your email every month, all you have to do is subscribe to my email list. So there's a link in the description below this video. If you click the description and you scroll all the way to the very bottom, it says get my emails. You click that, confirm your subscription afterwards in your email. You'll get an email that asks you to confirm. You have to do that part. And then you'll have access to all of my creative inspiration calendars and all the new ones I send each month. In addition, I wanna just remind you that the Waves of the Ocean products are now available. They are beautiful products, and I have several cards to show you with this set. So we're gonna do that today before things are over as well. And then I've got free gift offers happening in the month of March. If you place a $100 order or more, you're gonna get the Mischievous Mouse stamp set, a roll of Daffodilla Light Ribbon, and a sampler of this Rainbow and Sunshine paper. All you have to do is use this host code and the order has to be $100 before tax and shipping. If you don't feel like spending $100 or you don't have it in the budget this month, but you spend $50 or more, you will receive this and you're gonna use this host code. These are the Playing With Patterns resin dots. They're so super cute, I love these, and they're perfect for spring, that's why I chose them. So either one of these are great. If you place two orders and use two different host codes through the month, you can get both gifts. So there's that. And then don't forget we have the Savings in Bloom. Awesome, awesome, awesome promotion going on right now. All of these bundles are 20% off and the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine is 20% off through March 31st. I actually um, shared all of these bundles on last week's YouTube live so that you could see them up close and personal in person versus um, just on a printed flyer. So if you want to check that out, you can go to last week's uh, YouTube video and see it there. All right, what are we getting into today? Let's get into things. Really quick, a couple of housekeeping items for you. I don't respond to comments while I'm creating my projects. I wait till the end to do that. So if you stick around to the end of this video, I will happily answer any questions you have for me, along with showing you all of those beautiful cards with the Waves of the Ocean stamp set and bundle. And um, I also have some random acts of kindness that I wanna share with you today that I've received in the mail. They're beautiful. So stick around till the very end for all of that. Okay, here we go. This is the little goodie I'm giving away this month. So for a $100 order using that special host code that I mentioned, um, you can receive all three of these goodies in the mail. So we're going to make a card using this stamp set today because I thought, hey, why not? Since it's one that I'm giving away, I would give you some ideas on things you could do to use it. I also want to just say, I know I already said it once, but I'm going to say it again. I don't respond to comments during my, my session here because I cannot focus in two places. <laughs> I can't make your project and get your measurements right and talk at the same time. It's just, you know, it's like I can't do it. So I will respond after. However, what I do want to say really quick is um, if you hear some crazy background noise like a saw, it is because my husband is in the process of building something around the pool. Yes. So if you've been with me a long time and you've seen the videos about us having our debate and f argument over putting a deck around the pool and a, and a bridge from our, our, one of our decks to another deck. That was a long time ago. It's happening, people. We're not doing a bridge, but we he is doing a small deck. So anyway, 
if you hear sawing and noise in the background, that's happening. Um, that's what's going on. Okay, let's get started with our card today, shall we? We are going to use several pieces of cardstock. So we're gonna start out with a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock. And please do not worry about writing the measurements down. Why? Because you know I made you a project sheet, okay? You do not need to write this stuff down or worry about getting the measurements because you can use my project sheet. All right, so first we're gonna score it at five and a half. This card has a lot of steps. So we're just gonna walk through them very uh, carefully and get to where we're going, all right? Step one is to create your window. You need to create a window to see through. Um, and I am making this window kind of like, it's centered to the sides, but it's maybe uh, three quarters of an inch from the top of the card, okay? So let me grab my big stamp and cut and emboss here. And we're gonna die cut this window to start out. Here we go. Run that bad boy through there. Oh, I've made a little crease there on my cardstock. That's okay. All right, so now we have our window, and now we have to do the next step for this card which is some background stamping. Now, one of my favorite things to do with a stamp set is to figure out ways to stretch it. Like, make use it in ways that maybe you wouldn't normally think of using it. So I'm gonna take this piece of post-it note paper and I'm going to cover from the score line here, I'm going to cover the top or the back, I should say, of this card. Because I don't want to stamp back here. I only want to stamp here on the front, okay? So I'm going to use the Mischievous Mice stamp set. This is the one that's free with a $100 order from me this month. And I just want to, I'm going to flash this host code on the screen again for you. You can tell my printer needs to have new ink put in it, doesn't it? Wow, okay. Here we go. So this is the host code. So you can take a screenshot of that if you need to keep it. So with a $100 order, you're gonna get this set for free. Now this is a host stamp set. So normally you could only get this if you placed an order large enough to get a host set, okay? But I'm giving it to you for a hundred bucks. So $100 order and you get that set. All right, now we need to put this guy on a clear block and you have to use a little bit larger clear block for the whole image to fit. And then we're gonna turn him over and we're gonna take another piece of post-it note tape. Now this can be found on Amazon. It is linked in the description below the video. I am an affiliate for Amazon, so um, if you purchase through my links, I do get a little tiny kickback. And when I say tiny people, I mean tiny, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. Lots of people have affiliate links and it really doesn't cost you anything. Okay, so I'm gonna ink up the balloon and the stem and see here I'm blocking off the mouse, right? And then we're going to remove this mask and we are going to stamp. And then we are going to repeat this again. And we're gonna do this over and over and over until our whole card front is covered in balloons. Now it's up to you how many balloons you want, it's up to you how many, what color you wanna color your balloons and all of those um, lovely things. And so this is just, Part of the creative process. You have to decide how you want to do your card front, okay? But this is such a fun way, and you could do this without um, die cutting a hole. You wouldn't, you don't have to do that, 
that's just a choice that I have made. So you'll see how that all comes together, but you certainly don't have to, okay? Now, for those who might just be hopping on, I um, answer all questions and comments at the end of the video. So please don't be thinking that I am ignoring you. It's that I cannot instruct and demonstrate this and answer your questions simultaneously. I'm just not that awesome. That's what that boils down to. Okay, so now, before we even go any further, we're gonna color these balloons, okay? Now, you could go and do the different steps if you wanted to, but I really just like to get these, gonna get these colored and we're, then we'll move from there. So I have a humongous container of Stampin' Blends. Mine are labeled with a little label here. There is a link below the video that goes to my labels. They're $7.95. It's a PDF download. Then you can download it and have it as long as you want it. Somebody always asks me about the PDF, so, or I mean the labels, so I thought I would just address that right away. We're gonna start here with Poppy Parade. And I am just going to color the bottom of the balloon with Dark Poppy Parade. And I'm using This marker is running out. Let's see if we can get some better usage out of the other side. I'm just going along the edge here best I can. Okay. And then I'm going to make this little like this. And you can see this is pretty rough coloring. Like I'm not being super careful. Um, I'm just kind of laying down the color. And then we're gonna go in with the light and just kind of color that a little bit lighter. And then here. Now I'm gonna save my center balloon to be um, yellow. So I'm gonna color this one in pumpkin pie. If I can find my pumpkin pies. Where's my light? There it is. Is that it? Nope, that's pale papaya. That would work though. Where's my, oh, there it is. Pumpkin pie light. Okay. Pumpkin pie dark and pumpkin pie light. And here I'm gonna go on this side to create that little bit lighter spot. You could also do that spot in white if that made you happy. Ooh, my markers. I use my markers so much that they don't last long, to be honest. I color a lot. Um, if you don't color as much as I do, they probably last you longer. But Stampin' Blends are my favorite go-to coloring medium. So they get a lot of abuse and use. So just kind of coloring that lighter spot. All right, and then we're gonna do a different one yellow. So now I need to do some greens and blues. So we're gonna do, kind of going for a rainbow fill here. Green, this is Granny Apple Green Stampin' Blends. And the great thing about Stampin' Blends is they're so good for a new col new colorist, somebody who's just learning to color. These are so great for that, um, especially with alcohol markers. Alcohol markers can be a very expensive investment. So um, my recommendation is to start with something very simple, and this is a great medium to start with. So. Um, I'm using Stampin' Blends by Stampin' Up. There's two colors. There's a light and a dark. So it's one color, but a light and a dark in each color. And that kind of just helps you know where, which ones are for shading and which one is for, you know, covering your whole image or whatever. 
you can definitely combine uh, colors so that you're getting even more levels of shading and stuff like that as you become more advanced. The cost of Stampin' Blends are $9 per pack and they come in a pack like this. There is no refill for Stampin' Blends. So when you run out and you need new ones, you just purchase a new pack. So I kind of just keep extra packs on handy as you just saw in my container because I use them a lot, as I said. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do Fresh Freesia down here. So this is the dark, and you can see as it dries how everything just dries so beautifully and you don't have a bunch of those crazy markers, uh, marker lines and stuff like that. And if you do have some marker lines, like here you can see it's a little uneven, all you have to do is just go right back over it. Because the reason you have marker lines is because your paper is not saturated enough. That's it, that's the only reason. So with alcohol-based markers, they are specifically designed to give you this very soft, even feel. So here you can see how it's uneven. That's just simply because I didn't lay down enough color. So if we go into this and go right back over the top of it, you're gonna watch how beautiful this turns out because as I continue to lay color down and it seeps into the paper, it just becomes more and more even and less and less modeled. Does that make sense? Okay, so now our balloons need longer stems, right? Because they kind of look funny with this just like floating in the air business. Oh, I forgot to color my little... I'm sure some of you saw that and were like yelling at the screen. Color your little tabby things. There we go. Okay, so what I like to use is a T-square ruler. This is not a Stampin' Up! product. I got this on Amazon and you can get it there. It's a great uh, tool to have in your craft room. There is a link below my video if you need one. And I'm just gonna line this up and draw a line all the way down. That's it. So, so simple. Anybody could do this. It's literally a ruler and a marker or a pen, whatever you wanna. That one went a little wonky, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna see it on through. There we go. Okay. Now we'll set this piece aside. We don't need this piece for a while. I'm just gonna let it sit aside and kind of chill out. We're going to stamp to just keep our coloring going here. We are going to stamp our mouse and balloon. So let's get this guy all inked up and stamp -a him. So simple. I just love stamping. And then we wanna color this balloon in yellow. So we're gonna use Daffodil Delight. Nope, that's saffron. There's Daffodil. Daffodil Delight, dark and light. And we're gonna color this balloon in. This is also a great color for cheese. So if you wanted to color the cheese image that's in the stamp set, this would also work really well for that. So again, I'm just here, I'm just getting the color down. I'm not worrying about it looking perfect, okay? Because we can always go back in and add more color. That's the beauty of markers alcohol markers is you can just continue to layer color as long as your paper will tolerate it. Now there does come a point where if you lay too much color, it's just gonna start seeping uh, out of your lines because you're just soaking that paper so much and then it has nowhere else to go. So that does happen. And here I'm just gonna smooth everything out with this lighter marker. 
Ta-da. Okay. And don't forget our little... That end is dead. Phew, you guys, I'm burning up. Hold on one second. I gotta shut off my heat. Okay, turn that down. All right, now we're going to use um, crumb cake, light and dark, for my little mousy mouse. And I'm just gonna put some dark parts down first. Back here at his cheek, up here a little bit. And here on this arm where it meets, this whole leg would be darker. And then here, I want every curve of his tail to be lighter. So it's gonna look a little funny at first. But it'll look, it'll look good once I'm done. So this is just all the places I'm shading. And then I'm gonna come in with the lighter crumb cake color and just color his whole little body. I didn't mean to color in that ear. I actually want some pink in that ear. Okay. So let's see how our papaya might. We're just gonna do papaya in his ears and in his cheeky there. Okay. Now, this is, this is the part that's gonna take the longest. We gotta fussy cut this out. So we're gonna fussy cut our balloon and our mouse. Okay, let's fill up my chat today with yellow and blue hearts. You guys know what yellow and blue hearts are for. So I am really thinking of all the people in Ukraine and in Russia that are in the midst of this horrible atrocity. Cause you know, a lot of the people in Russia did not want this. They've been protesting and everything and it's so sad so I've just they've been heavy on my heart as with probably the rest of the world I'm sure um, all of you have had them in your prayers and on your mind as well and every day I just think what a blessing it is to wake up and not have to go into a bomb shelter or have to worry if my family is going to be able to eat or be killed or any of those things. And, you know, there for the grace of God go I, right? There's, there's no guarantee that we won't be in that situation at some point in our lives. And I pray that other people in the world have prayers to say for us. All right, so one of the cards I'm gonna show you today using this technique, the stamp and, stamped window technique, it um, features, it, it's my little nod to Ukraine and the support I, I feel for that situation. So, um, so anyway, I'll show you that card and that is what inspired it. But as I was cutting out this yellow balloon, I thought, oh, we could fill my whole chat here with some beautiful yellow and blue hearts in support of all those innocent people that are so scared. It just grieves my heart. I think we should just take like the leaders that decide that these things are a good idea I don't care what country it's in and just put them in a room and put boxing gloves on them and be like, okay, whoever wins this fight, that that's who wins. Now go back to your 
go back to your spot and be quiet. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so we've got this little feller cut out. Now we have to do this part. This card has a lot of stuff, you guys. I told, I warned you, I warned you. Okay, let's do this. So I used the, first of all, I wanted to say, I used the layering circles to die cut the little circle from the front of the card. I used the basic border dies to create this little piece right here for my sky, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Coastal Cabana ink and this little border die, and it's gonna be my little mask. And then we're just gonna come in and make a sky. Now, I have to tell you, this is probably my favorite technique to do, is to create a sky with like a cloud die. I, I don't know why I, it's my, for sure my favorite ink blending thing to do. But there's something about it that's just so beautiful to me. And I just love how it comes together so much. Um, it just makes me happy. That's just the best way I can say it. It just makes me happy. And you gotta do what makes you happy, right? And then down here, we're just gonna ink blend a little bit down at the bottom. And Coastal Cabana, this color makes me happy. It really does. It just sets my soul on fire. I love this color. Okay, so there's that. That was pretty quick. Now this piece is cut at five and a quarter by eight and I've scored it at four. So we're gonna fold this in half. I know some of you are thinking, what is she making? What on earth? Okay. And then we're gonna take this piece that is cut at three and three quarters by five inches and use our stamp and seal plus, which I love. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about it, but I love it. And we're gonna glue it on our little card front here. Then we're gonna bring in our big daddy that we colored, right? And we're going to glue this card into this card, okay? Now, if seeing all this on the back bothers you, I'm gonna show you how to fix that, but hang with me here. Then we're gonna take this little feller feller and we're gonna line up our yellow balloon. And this looks like Mickey Mouse ears, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna line up our little balloon and we're gonna lift this up and then we're gonna put glue down. Now, what you can do is you can take a little pencil and just very, very lightly put a couple of little marks so that you know where your balloon needs to go. Cause you want your balloon to be seen through the window, right? So you don't wanna accidentally place it incorrectly. So adding those little marks helps you with your placement. Y'all, it got hot in my room. I am burning up in my craft room. Okay, better than being cold though. So we're gonna glue this little fella down just like that. And now look at that. Now, it looks like he's just floating in the air. So we need to give him a little something to anchor him. And I prefer to use Smoky Slate Light for these types of shadows. So we're just, now watch the difference this makes. It's amazing. So right now he just kind of looks random, like he's floating in the air. If you just take a marker, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And now he's on the ground. It's really crazy how that works. The other thing we're gonna do, where'd my stamp set go? So right, in, oh, I had my markers on it, is we are going to stamp 
the say cheese sentiment in memento. Actually, you know what? Hey, let's stamp it in Coastal Cabana. I did it in black on the other one, but I got this weird thing where I have to stamp on something else first. Love it. And then we're gonna do the front, okay. So for the front, I didn't have a happy birthday sentiment in this that I felt like would work well with the front of this card. So I went ahead and I grabbed my Party Puffins stamp set, which has this kind of fun, kiddish, whimsical, happy birthday sentiment. So we're gonna bring that sentiment in and a piece of black, basic black cardstock. And I've got my little embossing buddy that we're gonna put on the cardstock here. We're gonna use Versamark ink. This is a nice sticky ink that is made specifically for watermarking or heat embossing. It's a pigment ink, so it stays nice and wet on your cardstock. That is crooked. Let's do this again. Kind of hard to, to stamp with a camera over my head, you know? It, it does present a struggle. Okay, and then we've got my white embossing powder. I like to put it in a container like this because it just makes it easier. And then I don't lose as much because um, I can just tap it off right back into the container. So if you were not to use this bag before embossing, especially on black, um, you would probably get little pieces stuck all over the place. And that is no bueno. So... Um, we are going to heat this up. I just happened to catch the um, comments and I see that you guys are having some sort of fun competition or doing something to give me lots of thumbs up. So I appreciate that. You're so sweet. I show 32 right now. That is so nice of you. Okay. So there's our happy birthday. I just love like, those are the kinds of things I really, as a YouTube creator, I'm supposed to ask you to give me thumbs ups and subscribe to my channel. Like that's part of what I should be doing. I never think to do it. Every once in a while I'm like, oh yeah, I need to, I need to say that and I add it to a video or I mention it in a YouTube live, but honestly, it's like something I totally forget about and it's actually pretty important, <laughs> but I'm just always like busy making my project and focusing on that. And so for those of you who always remind everybody to do that for me, God love you because I don't know where I'd be without you. Okay, I need to cut a little more off this. So I'm gonna tape it down with my post-it note tape so it doesn't wiggle and move. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick it back up and then trim off the edges. So I love white heat embossing on black cardstock. I think it's beautiful and it goes with so many things. So here we go. Remember there's a free project sheet on my blog for this card. So you do not need to try to write these measurements down or remember any of this because there is a project sheet there. There is a link below the video that says measurements and supplies. And all you have to do is click that link, go to my blog, and then look at all the beautiful pictures and scroll down to where it says click here for project sheet and you'll be able to get it there. Okay, happy birthday. Now look at what we have made together. Can you even with this? Now let me show you the other one that I made. Because of course I had to make an idea concept one first. Now I did this one all in red. Okay. And my ink blending is a little bit darker than this one. And here you may notice I covered the back. So if you don't like the see-through here, 
you can just cut a piece of white cardstock exactly the same size as the front or a little bit smaller. I just had a scrap, so I used this. And then you slip the piece of white cardstock into here, like so, pretend this is white cardstock, and you dr trace this line on the white cardstock. You take it out, you die cut right where that circle is, and then you have a piece to cover the inside so that nobody sees all of your coloring. Okay, so here are two of my window cards, but wait, there's more. These are my other window cards. I created this one in honor of uh, Ukraine. So I have a full length video on this that I haven't done anything with yet, but I did record myself making this card so that I could share it with you guys at a later time. So I maybe I'll get that out. And then this is the inside. So here's where you can write your little message. I left it blank for that purpose. Um, you could obviously add more decor, whatever up here, but I just absolutely love how this came out. And then this one is one that I created for my stamp camp that's coming up. So when you go to the description in this video, there is a link to sign up for my stamp camp. It is $59. It is the stamp camp itself is not this card. This is one of the add-on classes. So I did the in the moment add-on class. And so if you sign up for the stamp camp for 59, you're going to get the Hello Beautiful stamp camp, but you can also add on for another $29 the in the moment. And if you already have this stamp set, it's okay. We can substitute it out for you. You just have to let me know. So there is a link below the video for that. And that link expires March 16th. So if you want to get in on my stamp camp, make sure you sign up. Um, and it is kits in the mail, which I only do like a handful per year now. So look at the inside though. Isn't that fun? So the video I have for this, for the event, explains how to do all of this. And um, I just think this card is gorgeous. So it's that window technique again. And then you open it up and there's this beautiful scene inside. And I've left this blank for uh, to be able to write a note, right? So that is the cards I made with the stamped window technique. Isn't that fun? Okay, so moving forward, let me grab. Now this is the part where if you are here because you needed the project sheet and you needed to know how to do the project please feel free to go grab that and tune out now i am going to show my random acts of kindness cards that i've received in the mail and i'm also excuse me and i'm also going to show several samples of the ocean cards and i'm going to read your comments and i'm going to respond and i'm going to say hello and all of the things so if you've been waiting for that, now is that time. This is not the right video. Hold on guys. Okay. Hello everyone. Brenda and Glenda and Tina and Kelly and Sandra and Loretta and Sandy and Kathy, Jean, Tiffany, Hello, hello, hello. I'm not going to be able to read everybody's name. Okay. I love all the yellow and blue hearts. Now, if you had a question for me, please, please, please um, repeat it so that I can see it. Um, all right. So we're going to start with random acts of kindness because I have received several over the last couple of weeks. It happened to be my birthday last week. Last Wednesday was my birthday. So you're going to see several birthday cards shown here. Um, and that's why. And I received some gifts as well that I'm going to show and some that I'm not going to show because I've already put them away in my house. But here we go. So this is a birthday card from Helene Wiskow. Isn't that beautiful? She's on my team. And then this is a thinking of you card.
from Cindy. This is from Cindy Johnson, who is my uh, team member. Happy birthday to you. This is from Miss Tracy in Australia. She's on here sometimes. So Tracy also sent me the cutest pajamas ever with like the Aust uh, Australian animals on them. Some really cool like inspirational cards, some candies, and then a bunch of stuff to spoil myself with like hand masks, face masks, feet masks, those kinds of things. Such a cool gift. Um, way above and beyond what she needs to do. She's so sweet. So anyway, this is a gift from her and it's just beautiful. I love the card. And then we have this card. Hope you have the best birthday. This is from Miss Deborah. Miss Deborah, most of you know who Miss Deborah is. She is my assistant in the studio, helping me create kits and crafts and all the things. This is from Joy. Such a sweet birthday card. I love the flowers. They're so beautiful. This is from Miss Patty Dolan. She is one of my team members, and she uses the gorgeous stenciling set to make my butterflies. I absolutely love it. I still have not used this stencil set, but I, it's on my list. It's on my list of things to use. This card is absolutely gorgeous. This is from Brenda B. I can never say her last name, Bury it. She's on here. So thank you, Miss Brenda. Brenda also sent me a shirt that is from Ted Lasso that says you could be a goldfish. And I love it. And um, I haven't worn it yet, but it's on, you know, it's going to get worn. Don't you worry. Okay. This one is from Miss Lori Goble. Lori has been a friend of mine for years. She was a team member for a while. Now she's a customer again. But look at, isn't this gorgeous? She did such a great job on this card. Beautiful. Okay. And then... We have another birthday card here. This is from Miss Terry West. She's a team member as well. So beautiful and she used one of my very favorite colors. This is another birthday card. This is from Miss Tiffany. She's also on my team. So absolutely gorgeous. She did some water coloring here it looks like. So beautiful. We've got another happy birthday card. This is from Diane Andrade in Rio Vista. She made this cute card. I absolutely love it. I love the ice cream paper, so cute. I love all of these. So, so sweet for someone to think of me. This is from Miss Carrie Slaughter. She's on my team as well. Very talented card maker. And I love this card. It's so cute. And she put a post-it note inside rather than writing in it so I could reuse this card. So that's always so sweet too. This one, happy birthday, is from Miss Iona I cannot say her last name because it's too hard, but she sent me this super sweet card. This is from the Safari Paper Pumpkin Kit. So cute. I love it. I actually have these little um, stones that came in that kit, and I I thought maybe I would give it a, give them away because I don't really have a need for them. This is from Miss Roberta Timmons. She's another one of my team members. As you can see, the lovely stampers loved on me a lot. They sent me some beautiful gifts and cards and things. This is from my team member, Virginia Peak. She is just the sweetest gal ever. And her and I kind of have some fun running jokes with each other about our sports teams. So um, anyway, she sent me a nice note and this beautiful card. I love it. Okay, then there were some other random acts of kindness. I received this in the mail from Miss Carol Binning. She sent me this gorgeous card that her and her daughter made. And then $10 inside of it. Isn't that sweet? So sweet. So I think I'll be treating myself to a cup of coffee from Starbucks and a little treat with that. But I've been hanging on to it just to show you guys. Okay, and then this. I think this was a swap card. I'm 
Beth Eno. I think that Beth made this one. Or did she make this one? No, this is from Carla. Isn't that cute? Carla Goodlace. I absolutely love it. So stinking cute. And then this one is so stinking cute too. Let me get it open here. Maybe I, this I think is from Beth. My stuff got a little jumbled, but isn't that cute? So cute. Okay. And then I've got more. I've got more. This <coughs> is a birthday card from Miss Pat Downey. Miss Pat Downey. So pretty. She did such a great job on that. And then this one is from Janet Heigard. She has been um, around in my life. She's a sideline. She's um, somebody who's part of my uplines team. And she's just the sweetest person. And I thought this was such a beautiful, beautiful card. I love it. Uses that wild rose set. Okay, this is from my friend Chris, who always goes all out with her make card making and stuff. You guys, I have this gumball set and I still have not used it. What is happening? I love the set too. I just haven't used it yet. But look at this. How cute is that? So I'm going to just set this up in my craft room so I can look at it all the time. And then it folds flat. Do you guys think you need a tutorial on how to make this? I think you do. So there's that. And then she also sent this. She made, um, this is one of our little boxes. And then inside... Look at what she made me. It's a little keychain. It says Wendy and it's engraved and it is so stinking cute. She made this with her new machine. So I just love it. So cute. Okay, then this one is from Kathy Cornea, one of my team. Such a cute card. I love chickens. So that was right up my alley. And then this is so funny. This is from Kathy Sanford. It's exactly the same card that Carrie Slaughter made. So I'm not sure how that happened. Like one of them cased the other one, but how funny is that? And um, she also gave me a $25 gift card for my birthday, which was so sweet, totally unnecessary and unexpected. Um, but I stashed it away in my Disney savings envelope because we're going to go to Disneyland this year. Gosh dang it. If it kills me, we're going. Okay. And then this is from my team member, Jerry Mobley. Isn't that cute? I just love it. She did such a cute job. And then she decorated the inside too. And it folds up like this. So I've got two easel cards that have the cute shaker bits on the front. And then look here, she popped this open and put the little bits coming out the bottom there. Isn't that cute? And then she sent me this as well. Now these I'm gonna share because I can't use all of these. So I picked out my favorite ones, but look at these. They are little bookmarks. So there are little magnetic bookmarks and they're all religious. They're all religious based, uh, biblical based. Be still and know that I am God. There's a bunch of different sayings. This one says, I am with you always. The Lord gave me strength. So she sent me this whole package of these. So I am going to um, be sharing these somehow in upcoming stuff because I can't keep them all. I'm never going to use them all. Okay, so that's that stuff. Are you guys still with me? Do you still want to see the ocean cards or should we save that for next week? Let's see, what time is it? I need to do a time check, 1249. I have time. If you wanna see the ocean cards, I've got the time to share them with you. Um, but if not, then we can do it next week. Curious what your gas and diesel prices are there. So I live in Northern California, about 45 miles outside of Sacramento, and our current gas prices are $5.49 a gallon. $5.49 a gallon. Okay, I'm answering questions now, by the way. Um, seeing your guys' notes. Wink Estella, yes. Wink Estella would have been cute on some of the cards I made. Uh, the inside is amazing. 
in the moment is one of the sets I didn't think I would like until I saw so many samples and I had to order it. Yep, that's how they get you. Oh, I love that. Swedish flag is the same colors as Ukraine. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have Stampin' Up! in Sweden. Sister is good, Brenda. Thanks for asking. She's doing really well. Never thought of using the ladybug set as a bumblebee. I know. Such a good idea. Hi, Elfie. You're going to want to watch the replay. So funny. Um... Fantastic Cards. I don't remember that movie, Mary. Mary said The Red Balloon was a movie she watched in school on the projector. I do not recall that. Um, love that gumball machine. Jerry is amazing. Yes, yeah, she's very talented. You guys want to see the ocean cards? I knew you would. Okay, let me get them. There's that saw action I was telling you about, remember? Okay. First card is uh, by Jay. And it is a pocket card. Look at that. Wishing you oceans of happiness. Beautiful. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, the next card is by Corinne with Glowing Ink. You're totally awesome. Yeah, I am. Just kidding. Okay, uh, this is from Bonnie. Another, look at that. Double Z fold. Very pretty. Did you get your shower done? Yes, girl, thank you for asking, Betty. The shower is done and we have been using it and it is beautiful and perfect and wonderful and I am so happy with it. Look at this. It's one of those cool um, bridge cards. I've never made one of these. I need to do a video, don't I? So that's cool. That's by Jeanette Swain. This is by Christine. She's the one that organizes these amazing swaps that I am always involved in. So good. This one is by my girl Sandy, Miss Sandy Carlson. No more wet floors, Sandra. Nope, I haven't had a single problem. Has anyone seen the movie itself? It's all time favorite. 1081 for a gallon of gas in Canada. Sweet bejesus. 409 a gallon in Florida. Okay. Back to these cards, it's much happier. Fun Z fold card, really pretty. This one is by Katherine Anderson. Oh, I'm digging that, isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. That's a cool card. I've never seen a fold like that actually. Kathy Miller made this one. Is there a deck project going on? Yes, there is, Sandra. They are um, making the deck for the pool right now. So that's what you guys hear when you hear the sawing. And I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about it. Wendy Lee, it's right outside my office. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, Wendy Lee. 
the the woman is so talented. Look how she tore these paper this paper right here. It's probably because her name's Wendy. I mean, I'm just gonna say, like that. You know, that's probably what it is. Okay, this one is by Amanda. Very pretty. This one is by Carissa. I am always live on Tuesdays at noon. Yes, Anne, thank you for asking. Here's another Z Fold card with the ocean goodies. This one is by Jennifer Hampshire. And it is a gatefold. Very cool. And this one is by my girl, Sandra Hernandez. Uh-huh. She's on my team. I claim her. She's amazing. Look at that. I love the fold. How fun is that? Well done, Miss Sandra. Beautiful cards. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ocean cards. That is all of them. Whew! We did a lot today, guys. We made a project. We had lots of samples. Do not forget, if you need to place an order with me, please use this host code if your order is over $100, and you will get that Mischievous Mice stamp set free, along with the daffodil ribbon and a sampler of that rainbow and sunshine paper. And if your order is 50 or more and you use this host code, you're going to receive the playing with patterns resin dots. So that's my goodies for you this month. I do have the stamp camp going on and I will have an online card class later this month. So I hope you all had fun with me today. I always have fun hanging out with you. My desk is now an absolute disastrous mess and I have to leave to go get my kid from school. So um, it's just gonna have to sit like this and give me hives knowing that it's a mess. I'm just gonna say. I hope you had a wonderful time. I always have fun with you. Until next time, keep your fingers inky and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.